Okay, so you pour in some bubble bath, you wait for there to be lots of bubbles, and then you pull all of the bubbles away from the faucet. This makes room for more bubbles to form, and you just keep pulling back. When you have a good little crop of bubbles, then you just pull them back away from the faucet, and you give all the then it's naked water that can fill back up with bubbles i'm i'm so tired but that's i did my best you just get like a mountain of bubbles and then you give this it gives you give it breathing room and then it can make more and then at the end you have a lot more bubbles and you just add a little soap at a time i think that's right okay so bill hater and paul red they're mad scientist brothers. They're in a creepy old mansion. It starts off, you can't see them because they are off screen. They are on the ground. There's been some explosion of some sorts, but all we see is just like crackling bits of things singed. But you can tell that this place was a mess long before then. It's dusty cobwebs, the whole nine yards. So then they pop up onto screen but they're still sitting they're like propped up on their elbows they like look at each other they stand up the shot zooms out so we see them standing there they're like patting themselves they go from like shock to like exuberance because they're they're still alive something must have worked so then So then the shot starts to rotate with Paul Rudd's character as like the fulcrum, I don't know the right word. And so it's like zooming in kind of until the shot stops at the back of Paul Rudd's head. But we're seeing the whole time that it's rotating, we're seeing Bill Hader's character. He's like dancing around, but Paul Rudd is just standing still there the whole time. Bill Hader's character is just dancing around. He's so excited. And um, at one point, things get kind of like wonky. And he's like, turns into tracers, where like, his whole body kind of freeze frames and then like, comes out of itself and there's like a trail so it's very like trippy and then I don't know maybe there was like music and the music gets kind of broken down and we realize that Bill Hader had actually been blinded in whatever this was and he had hallucinated basically that entire sequence and now we're and now we're back to where we can see it, it continued to rotate until we can see like he's getting his vision back and now it's like back to reality and he can see what Paul Rudd's character actually looks like. And at first it looks like his head is like off. Um, but it isn't. It like is like really down low like this and then it like <laughs> cracks back up and he looks fucked up like really 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 injured he's got like this gash all the way across his neck it's disgusting it's like black like dirty ashy blood like lots of debris and like ash got in this like gash and so we figured, we were like, how is he even standing? And then, you know, obviously Bill Hader is like, oh, he realizes that he had been hallucinating and they're not okay. And he's all fucked up too, but not nearly as bad. So then, now we're, now we've got, instead of, Paul Rudd was like the fulcrum that was rotated around. Now it shifts to Bill Hader is the one that like he, the back of his head is the foreground. And we see like over his shoulder to Paul Rudd. And Paul Rudd's neck flap, the gash, has turned into like his mouth. And like, it's like going like that and he's talking out of it, but it's this like 
demonic voice. It's really, really creepy. And we find out like, oh, he is a, he's a bad guy and he is either possessed or he was always a bad guy and he was using his brother to get whatever big experiment done this is. So then... So somehow, I don't, this is not clear. Obviously, if this was actually a movie, this would have to be made much more clear. But somehow in like this explosion, there was, I don't know, an invitation was sent out to the village. Because this mansion is like up above this village. So it's like a, I don't know, Eastern European and... um there's this huge dense forest it's like really hard to get to and everybody knows it's like this creepy place so anyway somehow like an invitation got sent out like oh we're having a party at the mansion we want to be part of the community now and so you see this group of like young 20s people like getting ready they're so excited oh my god a party at the mansion it's gonna be crazy nobody's ever been there before what's it gonna be like and there's this couple that like later on it's developed that like they are going to take this opportunity to like get the girl to run away from home and they're going to elope and uh, that's a whole separate B plot and then back to the A plot it I don't remember enough I remember it flowed really well in the dream but I just don't remember enough um, basically we find out that while yes Paul Rudd is a bad guy that we can't trust. Um, well, there's a bigger bad guy that's after whatever it is that they got out of this experiment. And um, so they still have to work together to, to evade and overcome this like bigger, big, big bad guy. And because of this experiment, Bill Hader can fly now. He can fly. He like can transform into like a creepy, a creepy fairy dragon thing a little bit. Still humanoid. Um, and it's really gross. Um, but he can fly up above the forest. And the other bad guy can't. I think like one of his guys can fly. But it seems to be an advantage. Um... So yeah, my guess is that it's going to be some like, oh, they have to do teamwork. And then Paul Rudd's character um, figures out that he doesn't want to kill his brother or something. And then the, the B-plot probably ends up, they do get to have a party at the mansion. And everybody happy. <laughs>